Hey, it's Dealer Syndicate. Welcome back here. Joe Rocky is your host. And we're here in a familiar spot, aren't we, Pittsburgh? Our middle linebackers are a constant disaster now, aren't they? You know, Bush declining and never really developing after that injury left us with a major hole. And the guy next to Bush has been in constant disarray, essentially since Mike Williams retired, right? So we look at the roster right now. We just fired Jack. Bush left in free agency, and Spillane left. So we're down three, and we pick up two. Two we pick up so far, Cole Holcomb and Elon Roberts. Now, Holcomb, to me, is representing a potentially scary trend with our free agency signings. In addition to Holcomb, Herbig was also injured last year and bringing it in. Now, both of these two guys are essentially on prove it type contracts where if they don't hit the first year, it's not going to be the end of the world to cut them. Uh, Roberts is a little bit different. Roberts plays all 17 last year. He gets a hundred sacks. It, it's essentially what you want as that Spillane type role. Now where I'm concerned with this is that the pass coverage ability. When we look at the way that the Steelers' defense is built up, there's not a true ability to take out the tight end unless we bring Edmonds back. That was the key to the defense last year. But if we're using Edmonds or someone like Edmonds to be the middle of the field stopper in terms of coverage, you're going to be lighter in terms of the ability to tackle. And this is, to me, where Roberts is really going to be important in this whole scenario. I do have him more in the mold of a Vince Williams or Spillane based upon watching his type. You know, watching that tape, he's going to come up, sure tackler, all that important stuff, does some very nice things against New England laying out Stevenson. But at the end of the day... I am by no means saying that he has solved all of our middle linebacker problems. And in reality, we probably need to go out and get two more. I would love to go get someone who is essentially a safety that we put in that role, which is kind of what the Steelers have been doing for a couple of years. You know, Millett was in the line of that, where we have a speed, undersized speed guy, slot guy in Millett, coming up making hits. That's what Edmonds essentially was used at. So where my question with the Steelers and how we want to look at this is, do we want to say our middle linebacker is going to be just a pass guy or just a run guy? Because what we have seen under the history of Tomlin, especially in the latter half of his tenure, is he likes mixing it up based upon what people think anyway. I mean, there have been years when We've done split running backs, and the one who's supposed to be the pass-catching running back is going through the tackles, and the one who's supposed to be the one going through the tackles is getting swing passes thrown to him. Same is true with the middle linebackers in terms of run stuffer and pass-catching ability. So I say all this to say that I don't believe that the future of the NFL can really continue to keep having specialized middle-of-the-field players. And even if they do... Tomlin has a propensity to use them in reverse of what we would commonly think as their traditional roles. So when I look at this, I say, Mom, two more people need to be put in here that are quality NFL players. I'm not talking about special teams that might develop. This is not Buddy Johnson type conversation. This is, we need someone who we know can cover the ground, who can cover the pass. And again, it doesn't necessarily mean to be middle linebacker per se, because the Steelers have shown that it doesn't need to be. But it does need to be someone who can cover. Which still lets my starting point of, I want Edmonds back on this team. I want Edmonds to essentially be that extra linebacker. I believe in the three safety diamond in the middle of the field, with Edmonds being the one down to take the hits, save Minka's body a little bit, but most of all to take the tight ends out of play. And if that is the desire of where we're going here, then yeah, I am totally fine with Roberts being the one that doesn't come off the field and Cole Holcomb essentially being the wild card to say, hey, if he hits, great, awesome. 
But if he doesn't, it's not the end of the world. And the other thing that we all know about the middle linebackers is they always get hurt. I mean, Jack was dinged up last year. Obviously, everyone remembers the horrific injury that happened to Bush. But you need to have more than that. And this gets to the second conversation I wanted to have in this episode is that we're not done an outside linebacker either. Just because we have two of the top 10, five pass rushers, wherever you want to draw the line over there um, with Highsmith, the simple fact of the game is we need to have someone in addition to TJ. Because even when Watt is healthy, he takes himself out of the game fairly regularly. And I would love to see another pass rusher in this spot as the number three, someone who's especially either qualified and has upside potential or someone who's already proven it but needs to have a little bit of time. Now, this is where the name Bud Dupree gets thrown around like crazy. I think Bud would be a perfect fit, except for the fact that it keeps going along with this trend of bringing in injured players, which is concerning. You know, anytime that you're coming off of an injury, there's no guarantee you're coming back. I think Bush was the nice little example for all of us that to remember. So do we want to have Dupree come in knowing that everything he did, he got better in this defense, he stopped the run, but we analyzed those two sentences a little bit closer. This isn't the same defense. He wasn't here when Austin was in charge. He was here whenever we were getting all the sack records, which were awesome. And I do believe if Watt was healthy the whole year, we would have gotten it again this year. But it's not exactly the same defense. It's similar, but it's not exactly the same. And I want people to just think about that whenever they're throwing out the generic bring Bud back argument. Because, yes, there's some good things Bud brings to the table. His age ain't exactly one of them, nor is the injury history he had in Tennessee. You know, he was not a bring it up, bring it home type of guy over there. He was injured a lot, and he didn't get a whole lot of sacks. So if I'm sitting here going, how do I fix this problem of middle of the field not getting covered well, and the fact TJ needs to have his own personal backup. Highsmith doesn't come off the field. Highsmith is exactly what I love. I love Highsmith. But how do you solve this problem? Do you go in and go into the edge pass rushing position, which is one of the most expensive free agency slots to hit, and try to bring someone in? Well, historically, that hasn't worked very well. You almost have to do it through the draft. But then the question is, do you want to use one of the three premier picks, either 17 or the two second rounders, on an edge rusher? And... I'm looking at the tea leaves of what we're doing in our other free agency signings. And I'm getting optimistic that we might be doing that. And that's personally where I want to go. I'm going to do a whole episode later on the week about what I want them to do in the draft and what I believe they're going to do in the draft. But sufficient to say for right now, we need two more inside linebackers and at least one more pass rusher on the edge. Now, there's lots of different ways that this can be attacked and gone at. I love the Ogan Joby pickup because it will make the light or re-signing pickup, re-signing. Because I do think that he really did turn on much better as he got healthier with the year going on. And we say his ability to do penetration, that is something that is really lacking. Because aside from Cam, we haven't had a true penetrator since to it retired. And you need that. If you can have four legitimate penetrators on any given pass play, you don't have enough bodies to block them. Because the ones that are doing penetration are the ones that need double teamed. Highsmith is a penetrator. Cam is, and TJ is a penetrator half. I mean, you have to put half of your life to block him. And if Liao can develop, if Loudermilk can potentially be that, or if Ogunjobi can hold the whole year, and we get solid pass rush from all four directions, the left center, left wide, right center, right wide, this defense can really pick up. And then the issue of our middle linebacker 
having to cover things actually gets multiplied more because two directions get attacked when offensive coordinators feel threatened because of pass rush. The quick outside screen game and the center of the field check down. And with those two spots, that's where the speed inside linebacker matters. This is why Bush was going to be the answer to the prayers, but it didn't happen. Will a 29-year-old who got 100, 100 tackles last year be able to do it? Yeah, he'll be able to tackle it, but we're never going to break anything up. And my fear with relying strictly on Roberts is that it's going to look like Farrier towards the end. Once Farrier got over to 30s, he started getting picked apart on the inside seam routes. We still remember that Baltimore play where Ray Rice is just running and running and running past him on that screen route. And that's my fear with Roberts. And I don't mean to be alarmist. I'm just saying the work isn't done yet, and we can't go home thinking that it is. There is a lot left to be desired, and the one thing that is becoming painfully apparent, and I am loving it from all of these signings, this mantra of this season is going to be competition. Tomlin is going to have them fighting. We have four players that we'll talk about in the Mars episode fighting for one spot. We have two middle linebackers, really in conjunction with the way the defense is built, fighting for one spot, but on paper it might be two. But And we know that there needs to be another one. This is going to be such a fun offseason. Latrobe is going to be going off. Get your tickets now because there's going to be battles. And when there are battles, there are big hits. And then there's some words that tend to be said out loud that you can hear on the hillside, y'all. So I look forward to seeing you guys there. Let's go Steelers. We still got some work to do, but it's a good process so far.